Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we're learning lightning crashes by live. You know it. Lightning crashes. Her blood falls to the Okay, I don't want to get copywritten, but I think you get it. So let's get started. Um, the first chord is going to start with your first finger on the first fret of the first string. It's an F chord. So now we know where your first finger is. <laughs> your second finger, or your actually your ring finger, is going to be on the third fret of the A string and your pinky is going to be on the third fret of the D string and your middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the G string and then you're going to bar those last two the high E and the B string so what I'm doing is when I bar that I kind of like weld my finger there on the first fret and I pull back like that. I pull back with my elbow. I pull my elbow back basically to fret those two lower strings down there. Got it? So that's F. The next chord is C. They come up to C and they play basically a C power chord. So your index finger is going to be on the third fret of the A string and either your ring or your pinky is going to be on the fifth fret of the D and G strings respectively. The strumming pattern is... And whenever you want to do the chick, 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 just take your fingers off from fretting it all the way and release it a little bit, but don't take your fingers all the way off the string. You'll be. So. third chord as you see here is a G chord and the G chord is basically the same thing as a D power is a C power chord but you're 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 instead of uh, having a flat power chord shape you've got to go ahead and uh, do this one with the middle finger on the G string on the fourth fret so you make a power chord of a G Index finger on the 3rd fret of the E string, ring finger and pinky finger on the 5th fret of the A and D string, your middle finger is going to be on the 4th fret of the G string, and your index finger is going to be barring the B and E strings, respectively. So all three chords together. So that's really the whole part of it. I mean, uh, so uh, that's that's the whole verse. All the verses do that. And then when they go to the chorus, they double time it. So you mute it a little bit. And then release the mute. go to the bridge where you go to an A chord right there so A chord your index finger is going to be on the sec on the first fret of the B string 
your middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the G string, and your ring finger is going to be on the second fret of the D string. You're going to go ahead and hit the A string, it's open, and all the strings below it. That's A. And then it goes to E, which is the same chord, but just below it. Right? So as soon as they get done with That's a whole lesson. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Keep rocking.